Hello, today we are with Mr. Dale Christensen, and he is the Chief of Global Business Development of Bay Area Council. So welcome, Dale. Thank you. Thank you, Diane, for having me. Oh, thank you. So who is Bay Area Council? Tell us about that. That's a good question. Thank you for asking. Um, the Bay Area Council is the oldest business association in California. Oldest? Yes. What do you mean oldest? It uh, started in 1945 oh, wow. after World War II, mm -hmm. and it was uh, convened by Governor Earl Warren mm -hmm. and uh, the executives from Bechtel, Kaiser, Wells Fargo, and the largest employers in the Bay Area mm -hmm. to figure out how the Bay Area, the Silicon Valley, San Francisco Bay Area region could become uh, an economic powerhouse uh, in California. So it's uh, uh, oldest. <clears throat> Older than you. When have you attended this? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely older than me. Yes. Um, and I've been with the Bay Area Council since January of 2009. Mm -hmm. 2009? Yes. Okay. Um, the purpose of the Bay Area Council was to bring the largest employers and the business, or, uh, business organizations together to work on policies that affect the area. So the council's primary function is to work on large transportation projects, mm -hmm. water uh, projects. Right now, we're, housing is one of our top mm -hmm. priorities mm -hmm. uh, because we're pricing, the real estate is pricing um, the talent mm -hmm. in the region out of the market. Mm -hmm. And so in order to hold our talent here, we need more houses uh, mm. to hold them. Sounds like uh, very closely related to our life in California. So what about the relationship between Bay Area Council and the Chinese business people? Um, well, the, the, uh, one more thing about the Bay Area Council is that it is the place where we bring government, mm -hmm. uh, business, academia, and other NGOs together to work on problems. So it's a, it's a, it's a place where we write policy for the state. What do you do when you bring people together and how do you work together? Well, for example, this year we had a very successful year. We helped to formulate the opinions, gather data on, on different legislation. And then we actually helped write some of the legislation. Like what? Um, for example, one, the one that we're very um, proud of is Regional Measure 3. Mm. So Regional Measure 3 was a proposal to fund 47 shovel-ready transportation projects around the Bay Area mm. and projects that did not have proper funding to get done. So uh, more cars for BART, electrification of Caltrain, mm. and several other projects. Uh, we would also triple the amount of ferry service on the Bay through this process. And it passed in June. Um, we, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was <laughs> yeah. a big celebration. Mm -hmm. um, and the Bay Area Council was instrumental in raising money for a campaign mm -hmm. and conducting a, a political campaign that said, uh, with other organizations around the Bay, mm -hmm. um, that uh, enlightened people as to what we were doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, because the traffic is so bad here, like yeah, it is in China and, traffic, and yes, other places. It's so bad, yes. 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 Um, Usually uh, in California or in the Bay Area, people will vote for good transportation mm -hmm. uh, initiatives. So that was a, that's an example of one that we did. We were also the uh, conveners of the BART system when it was first installed. Uh, worked very hard before my time. Mm, well, it's wonderful. So the Bay Area Council has been uh, <coughs> for uh, how many years? Since 1945. 45. Oh, wow. It's like 60, 70 years. 70 years. 70 yeah. years, yeah. yes. So you said it's the old, oldest organization. So what's the people's, uh, uh, I mean, the board members, and who are they? So the board members of the Bay Area Council mm -hmm. are the top executives of some of the largest employers in the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, the CEO of Kaiser Permanente is our executive committee chair, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. um, and Kaiser is the largest healthcare provider in the United States. So this brings you know, some real thought leadership and business to the table on issues that may or may not, uh, that people may or may not be aware of. You know, sea level rise in the Bay and uh, different regulations for um, uh, transportation coding or, or building, things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, we also worked on like the expansion of um, SFO to, get, to help the airport expand to become the great international airport it is so now. So as a chief global uh, <coughs> business development, uh, so how have you been working with China? Uh, so the council did a uh, report on global competitiveness to see mm -hmm. if we were going to remain relevant to our members of the Bay Area Council mm -hmm. um, as people are doing more business globally. 
And we were introduced to China through a developer that had relationships in San Francisco and also in Shanghai. And that through that relationship, we built a, we built a contract or a platform with the Yangpu district of Shanghai. Mm -hmm. And uh, we started to visit China in 2006 and we're very impressed by how much business was happening there, what the, the change that China was going through, mm -hmm. um, the disposable income that people mm -hmm. were starting to have, um, and also the impact on China and uh, the value mm -hmm. to the Bay Area that mm -hmm. uh, China through talent and investment has, pr has provided. Mm -hmm. So now we work with um, companies to help them from here, to help them access the market mm -hmm. of China. Mm -hmm. Um, to, to reach out to those areas, do business, and actually expand their business. Mm -hmm. And then we work very hard to bring investment back into the Bay Area mm -hmm. from China. Mm -hmm. um, and we have expanded from one office in Shanghai mm -hmm. to uh, offices in Hangzhou, in mm -hmm. the future tech city in Hangzhou, and also in the Gulo district of Nanjing. Mm, quite an achievement. And uh, for these last 10 years, you are kind of witnessed the, the growth and development in China, especially in the business field. So in the future, <coughs> we're going to talk with uh, Dell about, about doing business in Silicon Valley and in California. So thank you.